I'm not making an excuse for that. You as an elite of Fulani have a responsibility to come back and give to your people instead of living an ordinary life in the city. I have been saying good things about Fulanis on my page, but this time around, I am going to share with you something different. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First of all, my anger is to the, this Fulani elite who have the opportunity. You had the opportunity, you are educated. Then, when you graduate and you have some good earnings, you are working and having some good earnings, and all you just think about is your family, your wife and children, your small house, then the car you have. That's ordinary life. Ordinary life. You are living an ordinary life. You need to wake up. You are from a big tribe in the entire Africa, and your tribe has not been presented world to the entire world. You have to stop living an ordinary life. You grow. Educate. There's a lot of work for you to do. Stop living ordinary life. Just you, your wife, your children, and that's all. Then you are driving small. Or you think that is all? That's, that's absolutely ordinary. You need to wake up. First of all, my first advice is to this Fulani elite. You have a responsibility to do for your tribe. First of all, a lot of people dress like you and then go commit a lot of crimes. Then they come and say, it is Fulani people. They, they try to change their tongue. When they speak and commit the crimes, at the end of the day, the victim comes to say it is full of people. And nobody has investigated. People will just believe it. So you are educated. You have a responsibility to come back to villages in Ghana, Nigeria, everywhere in the world to educate your people that they have a responsibility to report people who dress like them and rep not just report spy on people who dress like them and commit crimes when they find them they report them you have a responsibility to do that you as a Fulani elite point number two a lot of bigotry or a lot of crimes are committed truly by our colleague Fulanis and there are lots of evidences that we cannot walk over them this time around we need to call a spade a spade so in this view you as a Fulani elite, you, have, you are educated. You have a responsibility to go to the villages. Stop living in the cities. Yes, you can live in your cities, build your life there, whatever. But you need to make a program. Meet the chiefs. Mobilize a lot of money. Fulanis are super rich. Mobilize a lot of, mobilize a lot of money from Fulanis. Take this money, come to the villages, roam in the bushes. And then when you roam in these bushes, you meet the one or two Fulanis that you meet. Then you educate their young ones. You give them good education uh, like system that the, the young ones could get a good education. Point number one. And point number two, the elderly ones could get adult education. Notwithstanding, you create jobs for these people. Because most of them go into this, there are lots of reasons, but some of one of them is no jobs. You understand? So I'm not making an excuse for that. You as an elite of Fulani have a responsibility to come back and give to your people instead of living an ordinary life in the city. Point number three, you have a responsibility to establish a good media system. A lot have be, has been misrepresented about you. No, every tribe has a bad side. Your tribe also has a bad side. And no one has ever, according to my knowledge, and according to a lot of people's knowledge, has ever shared any good thing about you. Only the bad side. So you have a responsibility as a Fulani elite to establish a good media system where you share good values to educate Fulani people, educate now Fulani people who do not even understand Fulani, speak English so people could see and learn and understand that Fulanis are not what has been represented to them in the media. I don't want to talk a lot. There's a lot to delve into this, but to the Fulani elites, I am super angry. I am super angry at Fulani elites because not even single one have I ever seen or have I ever seen that or championing any, you know, uh, uh, activity or any program going around giving to the people and communicating to the world that they are doing this for their people because it's very, very important. You can't tell me you are doing good things for your people and hide it. That is, that is absolutely not acceptable. You need to tell the world that you are doing good things. Come back to the world, the chiefs, whoever, see them. Come back to the world and tell the world that you are doing good things for your people. And this is what you are saying. This is what you are saying. This is what you are saying. Some 
will now change their thinking about you. Until then, you have a big responsibility as a Fulani elite. So when you go to school, know that you have a big work to come to back to the world to give. Instead of living an ordinary life, getting a job, working, making the money, thinking about your wife and your child, a small house and the small car you are driving. That is too ordinary. Wake up. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> وكانوا قدوة للنار